inspire, empower, grab your girls and soar a little higher, unlock the fire in you, cause real women don't bitch, no, real women don't, 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 bitch. Hey, 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 thank you for joining me on the Real Women Don't Bitch podcast. This is your proud host, August Crenshaw, a.k.a. Mrs. Raw, Real and Relentless. I am the number one advanced mental conditioning specialist for entrepreneurs because building mental muscle is necessary in order to implement successful business strategies. This show has been created for the woman who is not excuse driven and needs help building a profitable business. I will be interviewing women from various fields who are willing to break the silence on struggles that specifically affect female entrepreneurs. Welcome to a show where I and guest speakers from time to time share our methods that help us beast our business no matter what is going on in our lives. Whether you are an online or brick and mortar business owner, this show is for you. We will hit every angle, personal, professional, and spiritual. Why? Because on any given day, you get hit with shit from a scenario involving one, more, or perhaps all of the above. It all impacts you and your mindset towards your business. I have made it my personal mission to provide a space where we dive deep into the BS we face on a day-to-day basis. Welcome back. It's time for your sales nugget. I want to talk to you guys because let's just face it. Some of you are very, very brilliant. You have awesome products and services, but you are still dealing with getting people to jump over that hump and to say yes and to start working with you. And it isn't because people are not willing to invest. It has a lot to do with your conversation. And today I want to give you a nugget for your sales conversation. This is going to be like really super simple, quick and to the point. But I want you to realize that in order to effectively sell, you want to do what's called lead and listen, lead and listen. A lot of you, what's killing your sale is that you're talking too much. You talk all the time and you're making sure that you, you, you might even have systems in place, right? Where a person filled out an application and you're like, okay, well, what do you need help with? And how can I help you? They've given you enough data. You ask them a couple of questions once they get on the call. And then you start going on and on about these products and services that you have to offer and why they would be a good fit and why they should work with you. And then people are kind of like, yeah, well, I'm going to think about it. I'm going to talk to my spouse. I'll get back to you, whatever it is that they say. And you're finding it to be a struggle for people to jump over and say, look, this is what I have to do. And so I want to talk to you about this whole lead and listen thing. You need to let your potential client talk as much as possible so that you can extract data, the kind of data that you need in order to convert this conversation into a sale. But most of you are afraid to do that. And you know why? Because a lot of people, they never give you the answer to the question that you're looking for. For instance, I could just go random and ask someone and be like, hey, what color is the sky? Oh my God, you know, I was looking out of my window earlier today and just thinking about how beautiful the sky was because yesterday, you know, it was like really, really cloudy and murky and you couldn't see it and the sun wasn't shining. But today the sun is just amazing and you can even see the white fluffy clouds. This is the clearest blue sky I've seen in a long time. And it's like, whew, all of that just to let me know that the sky is blue. So I get it. A lot of you, you're afraid. There's this thing with, okay, how can I let them just talk? Because if they talk too much, I'm going to lose my mind. I'm never going to get the information that I need. And it's going to be even more difficult. Well, that's why I said you have to learn to lead and listen in the sales call. You have to learn how to ask questions to kindly interrupt and to ask and say, whoa, 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 ooh, that made me think of this and ask more questions that lead people through a conversation 
where they give you something to celebrate about them, but that they speak very strongly and vividly about the voids that they are experiencing so that when it is time for you to talk, you can truly communicate how you can feel that void or sometimes how you can't feel that void and you want to refer them to someone else or tell them that you're sorry that you can't help them or potentially even realize that there's a hole in your system and there's some other product or service that you can create. But the question I want you to ask yourself is on your sales call, who's doing the majority of the talking? If you need to extract data in order to get the fuel, in order to get the information that you need to obliterate objections, yes, I said obliterate objections. And those of you that have been following me enough, you know how I feel about objections. You should literally be able to eliminate them in the sales call. It should just be a matter of, are we a good fit? Are you moving forward or are you not? But in order to get there, you have got to lead the conversation, allow the person to speak so that they can tell you what you need to know to be the ammunition, not the ammunition to take advantage, but the ammunition to say, hell yes, let's do this together because be you and I working together, it's going to be magic in order to get you the results. And so here's the main nugget that I want to leave you with subconsciously. In a sales conversation, if you are going on and on and on about your products and services, I don't care how well you know your ideal client. I don't care how well you have practiced making the perfect copy to convey those specific bullet points about how you can help them. If you're the one that's doing the majority of the talking, then subconsciously what it tells your potential client is that you're more concerned about getting a sale under your belt for your product or service. But when they're the ones that are doing the majority of the talking and hello ladies because it's majority ladies that follow me and some men that serve ladies we like to be heard we like to feel understood and so the person needs to speak and when the individual is speaking then they feel like you are naturally looking to understand them their problem and so when you begin to offer suggestions and assert your opinions and inject your expertise it is more readily received because more talking was done on their part so how are you with sales do you hate them or do you love them? You should love selling. It's just a beautiful conversation that you have where there's an organic con connection so that you and someone else can say, I see how you can help me and I want to do whatever it takes to move forward in the process. If you're struggling in this area, you guys always know I'm telling you to come look for me, come work with me, go to augustcrenshaw.com, connect with me. If I have free sessions available, you can get those. Some of you, you You've been listening you've been straddling the fence it's time to stop playing let's dig deeper let's talk about what these questions are that you would ask okay so that you can begin to close more sales so what's the nugget the nugget is lead but listen you've got to shut up if you want to sell more lead but listen subconsciously when you're doing all of the con conversing you're doing all of the talking the client feels like it's about you when they're doing all the talking then they feel like it's about them that's your golden nugget for sales today get back at me in your respective platforms where you listen let me know how you felt about this nugget and what it brought to mind and if you have any other sales questions then you know reach out to me in social media and let me know and i'll do a podcast specifically about that all right this is your girl i'm out of here bye oh i sounded so st louis out of her i'm out of here <laughs> lol Thank you for joining me today. Remember to cultivate a mindset that is biased towards taking action. No bitching, whining, or complaining. Here our mantra is, real women don't bitch, we get shit done. See you next week as I continue to bring you what you need to keep your head in the game and beast your business. Don't forget to hit subscribe and leave us a five-star review. Would you like a specific topic covered? Have a question you would like answered live? Then head on over to realwomendon'tbitchpodcast.com. Subscribe to my email list. Hit me up and I got you. Interested in being a guest speaker? You walk the walk? Then you can sign up on the website too. This is your number one advanced mental conditioning specialist for entrepreneurs, Mrs. Raw, Real, and Relentless. Signing out. 
Deuces! Inspire, empower, grab your girls and soar a little higher. Unlock the fire in you.